I think they're struggling. I think they can't quite cope. I think where they had the thumb on us, it's, it's lifted, it's shifted. Something is in the air. I don't know if you can sense it. I feel it. I feel that there is now a shift. Do you feel it? I mean, I can see when they're lying. I mean, in the past, you thought perhaps they weren't lying or perhaps that they were just not, you know, economical with the truth, let's say, or that they were just trying to sort of, you know, be okay, but not okay, but okay, but somewhere. Now, I can see that they're actually lying. I can see the hatred. I can see the sneers. I mean, they don't hide it. Or if they do hide it, they're not hiding it as good as they used to hide it. Do you sense that? I feel as if we are with, there's a shift in the world at the moment. I hear people talking about ascension or the revelation, or there's going to be the one that's coming and, and things like that. And, and maybe all of that is true, but I can tell you, there seems to be an awareness all over the world that the great rising, the rising up of people, that people are beginning to actually see for once, finally, the lies and the desp despicable nature of these people who've been holding us down, the people who've been throwing these things at us. It, it's as if the monster is dying, and as it dies in its death throes, it's throwing everything it can at us. Although, of course, none of it's going to make any difference because the monster is dying. And you can see it, you can see the snarls, you can see the teeth, you can see the drooling saliva of the monster as it's beginning to go, as they're pushing more and more pressure on us, the ordinary everyday people of this land. And across the world, you can see that they're not quite dead yet, and things might get worse as they start to throw more and more as the death rose comes, because their vibrations are low and are stuck down here in greed. They're stuck down there wanting money, wanting power. They're jealous and all those sort of bad vibrations. Whereas we, the people, are slowly rising up. We are doing the ascension up into the good place where we love one another, we have hope, we have compassion, we are together and we are feeling much more positive than ever before. And as this happens, I feel that, that we are, we're beginning to make a difference. And that's why I can, it's almost as if the glasses that I wear, the vision that I have, I can see through the lies. So I'm asking, can you see it? When they pop up on the television, the politicians, these think tanks, these one world governments, these organizations that nobody's voted for, that they are apparently unaccountable. Well, they are accountable in the great scheme of things. They are accountable and they're losing. They are definitely losing because the mist is clearing. While Life might not be as easy as we would like it, I grant you that. But I think that people are beginning to wake up. People are beginning to see through that mist, through the steam, through all the lies and the misdirection. We can see the false flags. We can see the things that mean nothing. And we know what is important and what means to us. Those things that actually are very vital. We can see that love of our family and of our fellow man is very much important. We can see the absolute corruption of teaching our children sexuality in schools. We can see the terrible trade in child trafficking that's going on thanks to that film, Sound of Freedom. People are slowly beginning to become aware that the people who think that they are in power, those people who think that they are controlling us, those people who've made our lives a misery, who are dealing in horrible things such as the, the manipulation and the murder of children who are taking them away and drinking their blood and all of that. We can see all of that and we're calling it out. We know who they are and they know that we know who they are. 
and they're withering on the vine. They're throwing all this stuff, the digital IDs, the central bank digital currencies, the threat of a UFO strike, everything. They're after our children's sexuality. They're trying to normalize stuff. They're pushing the woke agenda. They're trying to divide and conquer us. But actually, we're seeing through all of that now and we're coming together. We're all looking at the world from different perspectives, of course, such as through perhaps some people looking through the round window, others are looking through the arch window and others perhaps through the square window. We're all looking at the world from our different perspectives, some perhaps from a, a more spiritual point of view, others perhaps from a more religious point of view. But none of it matters because through those windows that we're looking through, the arch, the round, the square, whatever way we're looking at it, the view is the same. We see, we see the evil intent, we see what they're trying to do, but we also see beyond that, for we see the good and the, the best that is coming, that the, all of this will slowly sort itself out. And, and although it may be a bit rocky, and I'm sure it'll get worse before it gets better, we will resolve all these things because we can see that we are being united. And we do not have to gather round and try and view it from one perspective, like the household of the servants peering through the keyhole, trying to see. We can see it however we like, but we can still share the same visions. We come together and we see the lies, we see the deception, we see the theatre, and we also see the, the old man behind the curtain, desperately trying not to be seen, working his, his mechanical nonsense. And we can laugh at them. And we can laugh and say, do you know what? Your time is over. You've had your play, but it's over. For now, humanity, real people, real men and women, not these dead corporations, not these for-profit businesses that have been pretending to be administrations and governments and councils. We can see through all of that and we are moving them aside as we the people now unite we no longer consent to these stupid governments and these stupid diktats and these tyrannical messages. We're saying no, we're turning our backs, we're making them irrelevant. For we see the lies, we see the deception, and we're moving forward to a far, far better place.